What is going on, Panthers Nation? Carolina Dad here. Today we are going through red, yellow, green, taking a look at the offense and identifying players that are at risk on the bubble or are safe, at least in my opinion, heading into this season. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I've put together this in-depth spreadsheet chart that I'm going to be using as we move through free agency and the offseason just to track everything that's happening. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting out with quarterbacks, there's no doubt in my mind that Bryce Young is safe. He's here, starting quarterback QB1. Next on the roster, Andy Dalton. Now, Andy Dalton had ties to Reich. Andy Dalton is a really good backup. The question is, will this regime, whether it's Morgan, whether it is Dave Canales, decide that he should be here? Not saying that Andy wants to get out and or that you should get rid of him. But if you do cut him after 6-1, you would save $2 million in cap. Now you have to think about, are you going to be able to find a replacement backup quarterback for $2 million or less? That isn't someone that's drafted or an undrafted free agent. And I feel like that's likely not the case. I have him yellow only because like Dave Canales is like no stone unturned type of approach, which makes me think that anyone could be gone. Anyone, except for a few guys in green. <laughs> so anyways, when we talk about positional spend, it's about $13 million being spent on the quarterback position right now which equates to about 5% of the total cap spend for the Carolina Panthers, 23rd in the league. So not bad. Again, it's cheap. You've got a rookie quarterback and you've got a cheap backup. Moving on to running back. Miles Sanders, I have in yellow, although I'd say it's closer to green than yellow. You cut him after 6-1, you save $200,000. This year, it does not make sense to move on from him, unfortunately, and I don't think you have a trade partner. I think he's here another year. You evaluate. If he does really well, he stays. If not, next year you move on. Chuba Hubbard, who was confirmed today in the presser, is running back one. He's safe. No need to worry there. You've got Mike Boone, Tariq Cohen, Spencer Brown, who are practice squad guys that will compete for that third running back position. But I'm not sure that any of them make the cut. Spencer Brown, kind of borderline. We will need a third running back. For me, I think it'll be either the draft or free agency. I've got another segment that I'm putting together to start looking at some potential names and making all this stuff align up. As it is today, $11.6 million spent at the position, which ranks seventh in the NFL. That's a lot of money for subpar production and about 4.48% of the Panthers cap. We move on to everyone's favorite wide receivers. Adam Thielen, cut post 6-1. 3.75 million cap savings doesn't make sense again because he was the primary target. I think even though he's another year older, he'll be a reliable target for Bryce Young. And when you don't have a lot of people filling the shoes or the roles of him, I got I got him in yellow, but it's only because he's kind of shown agitation that he may not want to be here. But I think he's gonna he's gonna be around. Jonathan Mingo safe again, second year in the league. There's not much to talk about there. We just look for a rebound. Terrace Marshall Jr. I have his yellow. You even have a little bit of savings if you cut him pre-6-1, but after 6-1, you save about $1.4 I fully anticipate, anticipate him to be cut or traded, although you wouldn't really get anything in a trade. Strachan, you look at another pre-cut. I'm sorry, I did say the, this is a pre-cut for Terrace. You save about one8 You save about a million. Again, these are small numbers, like when you start adding them up. But if you did cut Strzok and have him yellow, only because you have the four wide receivers, I don't know how many people are going to get in free agency, how many we're going to get in the draft. My prediction is we'd pick up one or two free agents and then draft. Terrace would be gone. You have Jordan Matthews, who's kind of more of a tight end, who's a little bit older. I don't see him you know, really competing. Cam Sims and then Jalen Camp are your practice squad guys. Positional spin. A little over 17, 17.7 million, ranks 24th in the league, 7.22% of the Panthers cap. 
Next up, tight end room. A lot of yellow on this list. Although, again, I think some of these guys are closer to green than yellow. Hayden Hurst, yellow, only because, hey, he's he's costing a lot of money. Missed some time. I don't know about his overall health. If you cut him post 6-1, $2 million savings. Is it worth it? Again, because you have to start thinking through, is it worth it to cut him? Are you going to be able to find a cheaper replacement for that amount for the money that you would save? Seems like he may be here another year. Ian Thomas, on the other hand, cut post 6-1, 2.2 million savings. Again, not a big amount, but if you look at what you can do in free agency and or the draft, I do think it becomes more of an option. Tommy Trimble, have a safe. I don't think there's any concerns with him. He is making progressive steps. I'm not saying he's going to be the number one pass catching tight end for this team, but he is making strides in that direction. You then have Steven Sullivan cut post six when you save about a million dollars. And they have him, I don't know why the, the alignment for the position is um was right receiver and tight end the way this thing was put together. But anyways, uh lastly you have Chris Pierce on the practice squad. Positional spend, $8.4 million. NFL rank is 8, 7% of the total cap for the Panthers. And lastly, so we talk about offense, the offensive line. I think most of these guys are safe, at least in the green. Moten, Austin Corbett, Bozeman, Icky, who will stay in Brady Christensen. I do think Moten, we're going to have to restructure. You could save a ton of money if you cut in post 6117.5. Austin Corbett, you could save 6.2. He could be a casualty. And depending on how his health, Bradley Bozeman, 2 million. I think he sticks around. We get into this gray, technically we say yellow, red territory with Chandler Zavala, who I think is okay. But the rest of these guys, you're saving roughly their contract around 900000 These are all just you know, rounding, but you have Cade Mays, Nash Jensen, Ricky Lee. I do think all of them, as we get into training camp, there's a possibility that they can be cut depending on how much depth we bring in and what we do. And then Badara Troar, Troar, excuse me, is on the practice squad. Positional spend, not great. $61 million. A lot of that's elevated by Taylor Moten, who's taken up 11% of the total cap. Ranked seventh in the NFL, and again, 23.5% of the cap, but you have 10 players under this. So that's your breakdown. Offense right now, as it is today, 21 players signed. We're spending about $122 million. Don't get worried about all this crazy stuff down here. That's for another session. But defense, if you want to get a preview, is about $82 million. Special teams is actually five. I've rounded up an extra million, assuming we sign Jansen. Cap right now, $255 million. Our dead money is 9.2. I've estimated a rookie pool of seven. Could be a little bit higher or lower. And we're talking about spending 27 to 28 or having 27 to $28 million right now. I've thrown in some savings if we make some cuts. Again, highlight those in another segment and then potentially restructuring some of these things and maybe saving around 12 million dollars which would give us closer to 50 million dollars in spending for free agency so there you go anyways folks i got the defense video coming up shortly after this y'all have a good one what is going on panthers nation i am back you got to see the offensive breakdown. Now we're going to look at the defensive breakdown for red, yellow, green. Not really any red on the defensive side of the ball, though. although it could be just when you lack position and depth right now, some guys, at least where we are today, are going to be safer. Derek Brown, green all day. There's no question there. I would like to see him sign an extension, and I know that was brought up the, at the combine presser. Shy Tuttle. It's too much dead cap for him to be cut. I did look it up. It's it's like we would owe money, so I don't see him being cut. You get into Thurman, Bray, or excuse me, LeBron, Ray, Williams. You're you're basically saving your cap money, their contract, if you cut them after 6-1, and it's not a lot. You're talking about a million dollars for each one, and we need the depth. So at least where it stands today, doesn't make sense. $22 million in spend, which ranks 25th in the NFL. Inside linebacker, 
Again, we don't have depth right now. Shaq Thompson cut post 6-1 would be a $3 million savings. But he's coming off of an injury. Is he going to be healthy? But as it is today, you can see our linebacker room is non-existent. So I think he's safe for now. Chandler Wooten, Claude and Chair list both roughly a million dollars in savings if you cut them post 6-1, but there's no depth right now. So until I understand what we're doing with free agency in the draft, I think I've got them just yellow. Because if you do bring on more, there's a chance that these guys get let go. Edge, outside linebacker, again, all yellow because this, this is not a good room for edge, outside linebacker in the NFL. You have DJ Johnson, Barno, Villain, and Leota. All roughly saving about a million dollars ballpark if you cut them post 6 1. But again, you don't have any depth. So right now, all yellow, just the importance of bringing back Burns and getting someone opposite of him is going to be crucial heading into this year, this offseason. Next, we have the cornerback position. I didn't highlight these. I meant to highlight these. I think Dante Jackson is closer to yellow red. But then you look again, we only have really three guys that are on this roster. JC Horn safe, DiCaprio Boodle, yes, I think he's safe. She's talking about minimal savings. So I do think Jackson either cut or restructure. You save $10 million if you cut in post 6 1, which is not insignificant. I mean, that's your rookie pool of money right there to, to spend on the rookie class. You have Lamar Jackson, AJ Parker, Deshaun Jameson who are your practice squad guys. Positional spend, $26 million, ranks 10th in the NFL. And I should say, outside the linebacker was about $4 million right now, which is 27th, so not great. And $8 million for inside and 27th rank. Brings us to safeties. So again, safeties, Von Bell, Xavier Woods, I'd say safe, although you can save $4.5 million for Woods. If you got him post 6 1. Von Bell, you don't really save that much. Same thing with Jamie Robinson and Alex Cook. Again, talk about depth. That's what all this boils down to is depth and who's available. We're going to have to bring on some. We're going to have to bring it on, likely through veteran presence, at least for now, or just hope we get some dang picks in the draft and actually get it right there. Uh, total spend, $20 million, NFL rate, 10 And y'all got to look at this in the previous video I did, but again, your defensive breakdown, you've got 20 players signed. Spending $82 million, uh, we've already gone through, if you watch the other video, the total cap, estimated cap right now, 27. We talk about some savings, cuts, and restructures, roughly $50 million is the number that I was getting to. We have 41, well, technically 40 players signed on the roster. Not 41. Actually, 41, 42, 43, 43. So we have 10 spots open. Again, you're going to bring 90 into training camp, but 10 spots that need to be filled, at least for the starters. And when you talk about breakdown for me, I think it'll be roughly 24 Offense, 26 defense could flip, could be even 25 25. There's no like way you actually have to do that. But you know, if you talk about 25 25 and three, that's how you get 23 special teams kicker, long snapper, punter. So, anyways, folks, that's all I got for today. Y'all have a good one.